Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we are solving the chocolates by numbers example of Codility lesson number 12. We are given two numbers. The first one is the number of chocolates arranged in a circle and then we start by eating the first chocolate with index 0 and then we have to jump to another chocolate omitting a certain number that is also provided by the problem which is here noted M the omit step. For example, if we are given number 10 and 4, we know we have a box of 10 chocolates. Imagine these are arranged in a circle. We start by eating chocolate at index 0 at first, then we jump 4 chocolates forward. So we eat chocolate at index 4, and then 4 more chocolates, we eat a chocolate at index 8, and so on. When we reach the end of the array, remember this is a circle array, so we go back to the beginning meaning the first element and so on. So from number eight, if we jump four chocolates forward, we have one, two, three, and four. So our next chocolate is going to be at index number two and so on. We continue, we are at index six. Then we go back to uh, index zero because six plus four is going to lead us to uh, the first chocolate, meaning the chocolate at position zero. But this chocolate we've already eaten, so it's an empty uh, square, let's say. And at this point, we are going to stop and return the total number of eaten chocolates using this method. The easiest way to solve this is using a brute approach with a for loop going through all the elements of the array and eating one chocolate every four or every m chocolates. Then we can include a counter variable that can be incremented every time we eat a chocolate. And the program stops when we reach a place where the chocolate have been already eaten, meaning at the position zero for this particular example. Although the complexity of such a solution is not really dramatic, however, what is required by Codility is something even more performant, more efficient. And the most efficient solution relies on mathematical concepts using the least common multiple between the number of chocolates and the size of the step. Let's take the example provided by the problem. So we have a box of 10 chocolates and we are omitting 4 chocolates every time. The multiples of 10 are 10, then 10 times 2, so 20, then times 3, so 30 and 40 and so on. The multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 and so on. And the least common multiple is the number 20 between these two numbers. So in other words, if I consider 20 elements out of my 10 initial chocolates, I'm taking then these 10 chocolates twice, because remember, we can loop over the uh, circle of chocolates as many times as we would like. And if I look at the steps I would be making every four positions, it would look uh, like this. So notice that we are going back to position number zero. In other words, considering 20 elements with the whole array is going to bring me back to position zero if I'm jumping, let's say, by the number 10 every time. And also if I'm jumping by the number four, at the end, I'm going to end up at position zero at some point. Remember that we started eating chocolates at index zero and we didn't encounter this chocolate again until we went through the whole chocolate box twice in this example. Okay, let's take another example. 12 chocolates and I'm omitting a step of 8 chocolates. The least common multiple between these two numbers is 24. So I'm going to need to go through the chocolate box twice to uh, land back in the position 0. And also, if I take 24 elements, which is twice this array, and I consider the step number 8, notice that I'm starting at position 0, then I'm landing at 8 as a first or second eaten chocolate, then number 4 here, index 4, and then it brings me back to uh, the index at 0, which is already an eaten chocolate. So in other words, it seems that we're always going to stop the algorithm at the same position we started from, and I find this idea very important to understand this particular solution. I mean, this is a key idea in our solution here. Let's consider one more example and represent things differently. So we have a box of 16 chocolates and I'm going to jump four chocolates each time and our solution would look like this. And as we can see again, we are stopping exactly at the same chocolate we started from. Now, if you take the same chocolate box with 16 chocolates and consider a step of 12. We start from chocolate at index 0 and then we omit 12 every time and we would get something like this. So 12 starting from 0 we are going to land here but the next 
12 chocolates are going to lead me to a different place. I mean, to the second round of the same chocolate box. So I'm going to land here. And these are the two Eden chocolates so far. Then from here, if I jump 12 one more time, I'm going to land here. And from here, I'm going to uh, start omitting 12 again. And I'm going to go back to chocolate number zero. So indeed, it seems that we are going to go back to the same position we started from. I don't have the mathematical demonstration for this. However, we can see it clearly from the examples that we have presented here. So the least common multiple is going to provide me the length of chocolate counts. I'm going to consider before finding one empty chocolate spot. In other words, if I divide the least common multiple by the size of the box, meaning the number of chocolates, I'm going to have the number of how many iterations through the whole box I'm going to have before stopping the algorithm. And the number of eaten chocolates which is required by the problem is this particular length of the whole array as many times as needed in order to cover the uh, smallest common multiple uh, value divided by the number of the steps. Because at each step we are eating one chocolate. So if I went through the array one time, I can divide the number of elements of this array by the number of steps and I get the uh, number of eaten chocolates. If I went through the array two or three times, then I divide three times the number of this array, the number of elements of this array by the number of steps and so on. So this is also one more example. We have 15 chocolates, we have a step of five. The least common multiple is number 15 here. And if we divide 15 by M by the step, we get three. So we have three eaten chocolates. And that would be our most efficient solution. Going back to the example provided by the problem, the least common multiple is 20 divided by the step length, which is four. And this gives me five. So in total, we ate five chocolates, which is true. Now, one more thing to take into account is that we need an algorithm to calculate the least common multiple between two numbers. And this can be provided by the following formula. It's equal to the product of these two numbers, A and B, divided by their greatest common divisor. And the way we can obtain the greatest common divisor is explained in the Codality lesson and the PDF file provided with lesson 12. In fact, they provided different algorithms and one of those is using divisions. So we start by dividing A by B and we take the remain value. Then we divide B by R by the remain value and we get a new remain value. Let's call it R1 here. Then again, I do another iteration and I divide R by R1 and then I get R2, so new remain value. And I would stop this algorithm only when the remain, when I have a division with the remain that is equal to zero and my greatest common divisor will be the last divisor I considered in my division operations, which here is R1. Let's take a numerical example, 21 and nine. So 21 divided by nine, we have 18, twice nine is 18 and the remain is three. Then I divide nine by three, which is done here. And I have three, three times three is nine and the remain is zero. In this case, the number three is the greatest common divisor between 21 and nine. Okay, now we have all the elements ready. Let's go and write all of this in C++ and in Python. So in C++, it looks like this. First of all, we're going to define our custom made function. It's the greatest common divisor taking two integers, A and B. And inside, we're going to follow the algorithm described by the Codility lesson in their PDF file. First, we're going to test if A modulus B is equal to zero, meaning if B is one of the divisors of A, in this case, we're going to return B because it is the greatest common divisor in this case. Otherwise, we're going to do a different thing. We're going to call the function of the greatest common divisor. However, this time we're taking B and the remain of the division between A and B. So A modulus B, just as we have explained in the algorithm section. And this function will keep calling itself until we find two elements where a modulus b is equal to zero. So where the remain of the division is equal to zero, in which case we are returning the divisor, which is b in this case. And this function is going to provide us the greatest common divisor between a and b. Now the solution function takes these two integers, n which is the size of the array, number of chocolates in the array, and m is the step that we are going to use to omit 
the chocolates every time we eat one piece of chocolate. Then we are going to divide the least common multiple value by the uh, step size, which is the variable m here. But the least common multiple is given by the following formula. So a times b divided by the greatest common divisor. In other words, if I want the least common multiple, it's going to be n times m divided by the greatest common divisor of n and m. And so all of this, which is the least common multiple, is going to be divided by m, which is the step size. So again, this is the least common multiple divided by m, just as we have explained in the algorithm section. Or we could simply simplify the term of m and keep n over GCD of n and m. And this is what we are returning here. You can use either of these two. It will be uh, giving you the same result at the end. And this is our solution in C++. So I'm going just to remove this part. This is cleaner this way. It looks more elegant. Now let's see how to write the same solution in Python. In Python, we are going to follow the same approach as in C++ and the algorithm we have described. So we are defining a first function called GCD for the greatest common divisor between A and B, two variables. And if A modulus B equal to zero, meaning B is a divisor of A, then it's the greatest common divisor and we simply return B. Else we are returning the function GCD of the greatest common divisor, but this time we are dividing B by the remain of the division between A and B, so A modulus B, and so on until we find A modulus B is equal to zero, in which case we return B. So it was slightly more detailed in the C++ section. I'm not going to give more details on this. If you want, you can watch both solutions, C++ and Python. It's sometimes with the repetition, things get clearer. But anyway, this one was also provided by the PDF on the Codility Lesson 12, and it goes very well with the solution of, uh, of this example. Then we're going to define the solution function between the two variables, n and m, and the number of chocolates in my array or in my box of chocolates. m is the size of my step that I'm going to use to skip chocolates while eating, and we are going to return n over GCD of n and m. In other words, I'm returning the least common multiple divided by m, the omitting size in this case. But since the least common multiple is equal to uh, n times m divided by the GCD, and then all of this I'm going to divide by m, I could simply simplify by m, and this is what I get at the end. Also, this part is more detailed in the C++ section. Please refer to it if you didn't follow. So this is all I had to tell you for this example. Thank you for following and staying that long. I hope you are enjoying these videos. If so, please give a like and maybe subscribe if you feel for. Good luck to you in your preparations and hope to see you next time.